Hello, my name is Steve Baker. Today I want to take a quick look at the Barracuda Network's web filter product. Uh, once again, this product was voted SC Magazine's 2009 must-have product for content filtering. So this is a very robust, very secure, and easy to configure product. So I just logged into this unit here, and all management is done through the web interface. And as you see, we get a quick snapshot of all our web filter statistics for the total since the unit has been up the last day and the last hour. So very helpful. Also, the performance statistics help you out, you know, looking at the actual condition of the unit itself. And let's go down here a little bit and let's look at some of the the other reports that are that are automatically created as you log in. As we can look at the hourly web filter statistics, we can actually look at devices being blocked. Um, we can see the categories that they're matched up with, the domains that were blocked, and the categories. And then you can even look. One of the neat, neat things about this product is we can actually look at it per bandwidth as well. Which one of these websites is sucking up my, my most of my bandwidth? And obviously, when you you might see something in there that catches your eyes. You know, why are we having YouTube, you know, take up all our bandwidth? So it's a good way to look at your, um, you know, device. And this is a very helpful tool in looking at evaluating how your network and performance. And also all the users, you know, are we doing more, is this more productive tra traffic or non-productive? And as any content filter, the Barracuda Network's web filter has an outstanding web log. And this gives you the ability to go in there and look at the, uh, the, the full path of the communication string, the source IP, the destination, what was the action. And if something is blocked, you can even go over there and click on the link itself, and it'll actually bring up exactly what you saw Um there may be a GIF file that was blocked or something else. So it gives you the ability to click on that link and it'll open up another window. And you can see what is actually blocked. Uh, for peer-to-peer -peer applications, we have the ability to also look at the application log and see how we are. You know, there's anything specific being blocked as well. And you can see we're getting a lot of Yahoo toolbar and jukebox and things like that. Typical, we call non-production activity from our users. Uh, virus checking obviously is very robust in this product. We have a good MIME extension capabilities. Um, you can these these um, MIME extensions here are on my are on by default, and obviously you can turn on and add more MIME extensions as you need them. But the default uh, it's ready to roll right out of the box. We also have the ability to check our infection activity, and as we look here, oh, we have two people that have been blocked with Trojans on this network. So this was outbound traffic. Probably these two computers are infected. We need to get a better antivirus, local antivirus in the computer, but the web filter itself actually caught that traffic and blocked it. And you can see, once again, we have the ability to clear events uh, daily, weekly, or monthly. So it gives you a good uh, data retention there. Also, in the uh, with any content filter, we have a very robust capability of blocking things, permitting things, what we call blacklisting and whitelisting. Also, we can get down into the uh, specific peer-to-peer -peer applications as well. So let's talk about the content filter. As you can see, we have a very robust content filter database already built into it. And you have the ability on each one of these categories to block all, monitor all, or allow all, or you can go individually in that category and, and select it. One of my favorite things I like about this product is it's already ready for Facebook and uh, MySpace, Twitter, things like that, that you can actually turn on and block as well. One of the neat things is you can turn that on in monitor mode, and you can see the people who are not doing their job. So it's a good way to play Big Brother. And once again, if something doesn't fall into these categories, you can always put in a URL and submit it to Barracuda Networks, and they can actually see if it's something that needs to be added to their pro to their product. And that would just be a simple update when the box gets its updates from the manufacturer. So we scroll back up here. Let's go over and look at the applications. Let's talk about the peer-to-peer -peer applications. Once again, we have the ability to block those peer-to-peer -peer applications going through the internet. And as you can see, once again, they've categorized them, and we have the block all, allow all, or we can select an individual um, unit itself and once again <clears throat> if we don't have anything that's listed and we need to a have a request made to the manufacturer there it is as well so very configurable easy to use once again domains with our white listing and black listing we have that capability uh, one of the things I do like about this product too it gives us URL pattern capabilities so within the URL, for example, if we had any kind of SQL injection strings that we were trying to protect our internal SQL database, even though it's being accessed via a web browser, we have that capability to block those patterns. So very configurable right out of the box. 
uh, one of the cool things I like about this product is the ability to use the internal browser. You can actually go to this and put in an individual uh, address or IP address and you can see how the content filter will uh, react against that. Very good in uh, troubleshooting. You know, you always have that one user, I can't get to this website. Well, you can actually test it right here on the box itself. With our users and groups, we have a very good LDAP integration. Um, obviously, with Active Directory, um, you know, being the major data store for most people's users and passwords, you have the ability to request that. And you can still use NTLM or Kerberos if you want to. Um, but creating users and policies and groups and policies is a breeze with this product. And last but not least on this quick snapshot, I want to show you the reporting capabilities. The reporting capabilities are really powerful from the standpoint of, you know, creating those reports, having them automated, and, uh, you know, having the actual statistical information to provide to management. And you can see we have a lot of canned reports right out of the bat. And you can actually have those reports scheduled in the frequency and the delivery options, once again, are email, or we can actually upload them to an external server. Um, that right there is probably one of the neatest things about this product is it's all web-based managed. We don't have to have a third-party client or anything to access the box. And this makes this box very powerful from the standpoint of controlling your content, controlling your URL filtering, and obviously the antivirus protection. Well, that about covers it. I appreciate your time. Once again, my name is Steve Baker, and if you do choose Barracuda Networks and their web filtering product, we hope you give us a call because we'd love to be your vendor. Once again,